today I've got another installment of the Fright Crate. This is the May Crate. So they actually sell a month in advance. So the May Crate sells all through May. Then they ship it towards like the middle of June. And I actually got this towards the very end of June. So I've had this thing for a few weeks now. So I'm getting around to open this thing right now. And let's see what's in the May 2019 Fright Crate. A few weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, I don't even remember now, we saw the April crate and it was actually really good. Like I had a really cool Chucky t-shirt out of it. There was an autographed picture of something. I don't remember the franchise now, but it. I liked the autograph. I liked the t-shirt. It was a fantastic value. This box, if I remember correctly, sells for like 30 bucks. It is a monthly subscription box, but you actually don't actually subscribe monthly. It goes on sale the first of every month and it's on sale from like the first through the 20th and once it sells out it's sold out so you've got pretty much upper to 20 days to buy yourself a box or until it sells out the july box will sell all the way through the 20th of july or until it sells out and then they'll ship the july box in august so you won't get the july box until could be like the middle to end of august you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like it's behind a little bit, but I do not remember what was in the May crate. I do not remember. It's been too long since I bought this. I mean, I bought this thing would have been back on May 1st is when I bought it. So I don't remember what's in it. We're going to find out though. So there should be an autograph in this and whatever the autograph is, it's going to be some much, much smaller of an autograph. And I'm guessing there's a t-shirt in it. I'm guessing. But I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty small box this month. I mean, last month's box was much, much bigger. This one, it's much smaller. So there is a t-shirt right on top. So I don't remember what the themes are in this box at all. So this is honestly total mystery. I'm not even going to look it up. I'm just going to, we're just going to wing this. And hopefully whatever I pull out, I actually recognize the movie franchises because everything, everything in this is going to be like a horror movie. It's going to be a scary movie. So hopefully we can recognize everything in this box. So first thing, t-shirt. Got your baby gorilla size. What we got? Oh, cool. We got Silence of, not Silence of the Lambs. Um, Candyman. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. <sighs> think, Clint, think. Sweet to the sweet. Okay, that's it's a cool t-shirt. So we've got... Candyman. Actually, I heard that they're actually remaking this. Uh, have they already made it? Remade it? Or are they, are they in a process? I don't remember if they've remade it or they're just in the process of remaking it. That I don't know for sure. But yeah, this is a cool t-shirt. This is cool. I like it. Yeah, this dude right here, his name slips on mine, but he has been in so many horror movies over the years everybody of course knows him from you know Candyman franchise then they know him from the Final Destination series but also if you watch the Night of the Living Dead remake from like 1991-92 he was one of the main characters in the remake of Night of the Living Dead and uh yeah fantastic actor and if they remake this I really hope he gets a part in in the movie again because he was a huge part of the original franchise. So yeah, first t-shirt, the first item t-shirt, cool. But yeah, the price of this box, if I remember correctly, the box is only like 30 bucks. Like this isn't a very expensive subscription box. It doesn't break the bank. So we have a bubble wrapped, I oh, cool. And this though is Silence of the Lambs. So this one is Hannibal Lecter. Oh, that's cool. Looks looks like this could be like a candle holder of Hannibal Lecter. Give that 360 view of Hannibal. Of Silence of the Lambs. Let's see, next. What is this? Oh, we got a beer koozie. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That's funny. It puts the can in the koozie. 
Okay, so if everybody, oh, it's something inside of it too. It rubs, or is it? It rubs the lotion on the skin. It does, it does what what it's told, or something like that. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. I'm trying to think of the quote, uh, Wild Bill in Silence of the Lambs, and it was like, it rubs the lotion on the skin. It does what it's told. But here it says, it puts the can in the koozie. Then in the koozie, there's something wrapped up inside of the koozie. So far, this, this box is like freaking awesome. So in, ooh, it's like a devil head. What is this? Not sure what movie this is from. Drawing a blank, but we got kind of like a devil head magnet. It's kind of creepy looking. I'm not sure what that's from, but it's like a devil head kind of a magnet. Okay. Not sure. <laughs> Koozie's funny though. Let's see, next. And this thing has a lot of stuff in it. So I don't think there's an autograph in this box this month. Or unless I'm going, oh, let's save this. I see a pin right, right here. Okay, here's a monthly pin. The Faculty Coach. So have you seen the movie The Faculty? This is the coach. The guy who's also in the Terminator who plays the uh, the the T whatever it is, not 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 the two thousand but the T the better Terminator. Okay, then the last thing, as far as I know, which is something else hidden. Then here is the cheat sheet right here. So it appears there is no autograph this month. Unless this is signed or something. Oh, that's cool though. There's like a piece of paper in it. So we have a gin from the movie um, Wishmaster. That's from Wishmaster. Okay, this is probably my favorite thing from this whole box right here. Then it has the stone in its hand. Yeah, this is from Wishmaster. That's cool. There's the bottom of it. Okay, this thing is this thing is really really cool. This actually this is kind of high quality. This is nice. I like this. If you're a fan of scary movies, you should like this. That's neat. Okay, this paper was wadded up in it. Blank. Okay, cheat sheet. Okay, so this is I Love the 90s Part 2 is the theme. And I dropped the magnet and it went that way. So it says, you get an exclusive Wishmaster 4-inch bust. Be careful what you wish for. Amazing bust inspired by the Jin from Wishmaster. Brought you by the, Cer by the Cereal Resin Company. So yeah, they did an awesome job on this bust. They did a fantastic job. Then you have an exclusive Sweets to the Sweet shirt. Candyman. Cool t-shirt. I like the graphics. High quality t-shirt. Looks good. Um, yeah, two big thumbs up on that t-shirt. We have an exclusive Hannibal Mine. Oh, it's a pin holder. It's the whole pins. I thought it was like for candles or like maybe even like a shot glass. But no, it's the whole pins. I totally missed that. So another offering from Cereal Resin Company. Sure to make, sure to make you crave some fava beans and some nice Chianti. Journey into the Mind of Madness. So a pin holder. Or you can use it for other purposes or put it next to your night night nightstand. So every morning you wake up, you see your cell phone, then you see uh, Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, you know, whatever. Exclusive Demon Freddy Sculpted Magnet. Uh, it's on the floor over there now. Exclusive only to Fright Crate. Once again, the Sir is inspired by one of the best films, the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, the Demon Freddy. And then exclusive, the Faculty Coach Pin. Boom. It doesn't say anything about the uh, the koozie. This is kind of funny. It puts the can in the koozie. That's kind of cool. So that is the May 2019 Fright Crate. That was good for 30 bucks. That was some cool value. So yeah, there was no autograph. Maybe I'm confusing my subscription boxes. Maybe Fright Crate actually doesn't have autograph items. Maybe I am confusing my boxes. But yeah, this is what I got for 30 bucks. <sighs> T-shirt is worth 20 bucks. 
This bust here, honestly, is probably a good 15, 20 bucks. These two things alone are worth more than the price of the box. Then you throw in a pinnace on the floor, a Hannibal Lecter nightstand piece, a koozie, and a pin. Tremendous value in this box. So two big thumbs up for that box. So yeah, I'll be getting another box whenever it goes on sale. So that's what we got. I'll see you again next time with another Fright Crate. I'm out. Perfect.